look at this. Hello guys and welcome to the unboxing of this new 3D printing device. This is the Creality K2 combo and this is the reason why they're calling it combo. So after this one, we put it over here. We have a cable that is going to connect the dispenser, the four color dispenser to the machine itself. This is some kind of tube. The whole thing we go through this tube and that's how the feed is going to be done. Three small ones, different length. One of them is from the back of the dispenser to the back of the machine from another dispenser that you might have here. So when you have the dispenser on the top, you are not using this one anymore. This is a spool holder. This one going from this tube here to the back of the machine. This is the data cable that goes from the CFS to the back of the machine on the lower side here. This one is from the top left of the machine to the buffer to control filament input and change. I saw the video, okay, this is free feed. They just send it to you for free. Ultra PLA. The next thing you get is the DC cable and you have this. Okay, this is, oh, the screen, the screen on which you are going to and some tools. We have this, I think is to push the feeder, the feed or the, the PLA away here. That is really mushy. The screws, to screw that thing right on the back. I think it's used to cut again. This, this is, wow, this is good quality. It's, now we have those. And the last thing on top here, we have, oh, this is cool. But it's not magic, it's just to cut. Now, underneath this, you have to use a little bit of strength. And two, it's not a table, it's, um, how do you call that? And this is where it's going to sit. This is pretty steady, so the printing won't be too noisy and it won't be shaky. I think the best way, all the sides, making some kind of vacuum. You apply your strength and you pull it out. Now, this thing is heavy. Now that we have the whole thing on the IKEA, it has a name, the device here. I mean, the presentation of the whole device is pretty cool. Look at this. And now you just, you just need to pull it out. Don't be scared of hurting the, the, the device a little bit. That's the way they put it in. We have this one here, the lever that we just saw at, at the unboxing. And then you take the second one like this to cover it up, prevent dust and nasty stuff. And then put it on top of the device we have here. So our next work is going to be plugging in those stuff. Both this, cam this one here, I'll show you the camera. This goes in here. So the hole in here, you just need to look at the instruction. It's called 3D printing for dummies. One in here on the right, one at the bottom. So this one, it goes to C here and then goes into B. It's showing exactly which in which one you should need to push it in here. This one here, Peyong, is for future use and replacement. And that one here is for the lever that we won't be using in this video since we have the CFS. We are going to take, take this out and install this device. They use the mouse, they wrote it here. That's why they flagged him up. You could have actually chose to mount it here on the back of this device. So if you mount it here and it's, it's just too bulky and ugly to you, you can just move it all the way up here. There's something we need to install and that thing is this. The tactile screen on which we are going to be doing most of our stuff. Now we mounted the camera back on and much easier to achieve. Now to put the screen in, you just grab the cable from the back, retract it in put the whole thing in and then slide it inside the device. You see something like this, just pull it out. And all that is remaining now is to fire up the whole thing. And there's one last thing I wanted to share. This is opening up the, the top cap. You just need to push it. You know, it has those signs here, forward and backward. So when you want to close it, you just press the whole thing down and then push it. 
So even if this one end up breaking, you can just print it yourself. You put your PLA or any kind of uh, material you're using through this one here. Okay, no TPU, no TPU, very clear. This is where you plug the DC card and it's turning on. Okay, this is my first time seeing this face to face because I'm so busy that I decided to buy it, but I didn't buy it. And then I like the texture of the platform. It looks like futuristic stuff. Let's go. We start with the language, English, obviously. Um, remove the screws A, B, C, D according to position indicated by the arrow. There are screws in here, okay? A, B, C, D. So I have to remove those screws. Oh God. Ouch. And they just screamed. Move all this from here before it's next. I don't know what is going to happen. And mess. That one. And now you just have to choose your time. Fine. International. What's your area? Mainland China. Reality Cloud. And you go in there, open up the QR code thing and just scan that thing. So you can see that it's written here, the K2, and it's offline. After it's done detecting, it's going to go online. It's heating up the hotbed, the calibration. Okay, there are things in there that I need to remove, those hands, and I did not. So I will try to remove them now. I did not know I had to remove them. I didn't read the thing on it, but it's saying you have to remove it before starting using the machine. Observing. Okay, now is leveling. The input shaping is done and it's just leveling now. So there'll be way more points for this one. We have an error for the cutter calibration. So we are going to try that one again by scanning this device again. Why would you give me a QR code if it's not scannable? So I cannot scan this QR code. This is pretty weird. I'm trying, but it's not working. First, we need to go inside the error log and you will see that the cutter calibration failed. So we need to try again after resolving. And it was just our, my own fault for not removing those piece of plastics. So we just need to go into the settings here, the calibration thing here, all the way to calibration. And then we just need to choose cutter calibration and rerun that. As soon as you run that, it will start running again. And hopefully this time we'll have no problem. So what I will recommend is that if you do the color calibration, after, right after that you better do a leveling calibration again, just to be sure that after all the calibration of the color, you didn't mess up your leveling and then have a crooked printed device. Okay, so the self-check is okay and there is no error anymore. We do one more auto-leveling and we are done with that. So that's it for the unboxing of this 3D printer. Thank you guys for your patience and sticking with me throughout the whole video. Be sure to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment on your thoughts on 3D printing and if you will be willing to spend 500 US dollars for the whole set and what will be the first thing you print. On that, I give you my thanks and I will see you in the next video.